I'm Chris Warner, and I'm a candidate for the Republican nomination for Secretary of State in West Virginia. So there, there are three major parts of a, uh, the Secretary of State's office in, in West Virginia. You're the Chief Elections Officer, number one. But interestingly enough, only six of 51 employees in the Secretary of State's office are focused on elections. There are at least three times as many that are focused on business registration, which is the second major part. And then the third part is the administrative portion of the Secretary of State's office. They handle all the communications, official communications, for the uh, governor of the state. They register sports agents, notary publics, uh, security agencies, so they're kind of a catch-all on a number of things that need to be done in the state. I am proposing today, and to the crowd that was here this evening, that we create the Office of Entrepreneurship. Uh, we can do this by only retraining some of the workers in the uh, business one-stop shop, which was set up by Secretary Mac Warner, where when you register a business, you can come to one location and take care of everything you need to take care of with tax and revenue, uh, the state auditor's office, uh, the state treasurer's office. You can, you can reach everything from one location. Um, so that's a, another major part of the office. As it relates to elections, though, there are four, four major things I would do as Secretary of State. Number one, we're going to follow the law as laid out by the West Virginia legislature. I can give examples in a minute where that's not being done by Pennsylvania, for example. Number two, we're not going to allow voting machines to be tied to the Internet. Number three, we're not going to allow drop boxes in West Virginia because that's a way for someone to collect ballots and drop them off, and there is no security over those ballots. The safest, most secure election is one held where poll workers oversee the process of those ballots being cast. And lastly, we're going to hold Facebook and big tech and social media companies to comply with West Virginia law as it relates to campaign finance reports. If they are going to dethrottle one candidate, and benefit another, or they're going to boost post of one candidate, or they're going to throttle another candidate, and it benefits the opponent, they should have to file a campaign finance report just like any of us in West Virginia do. Also, we don't allow corporate contributions to individual campaigns in West Virginia. So if that means that they're not allowed to do what they're doing now, we're going to hold their feet to the fire and make sure that that happens. All right, so what is your uh, campaign's website? Where can people go to find out yep. about you? It's Chris, K-R-I-S, Warner, W-A-R-N-E-R, W-V.com. And you can, you can learn more about me as a candidate and our campaign. By the way, in the last 12 days, we've been to 16 different counties, spoken in each one of those uh, events. Uh, and it's been all the way from the eastern panhandle to the northern panhandle, all the way down to Summers County. So uh, we are crisscrossing the state. Uh, when I leave here, I'm going to Cape and Bridge for a day's work with the EDA tomorrow, and then back to Kanawha County. So it's a very active campaign. We're doing everything we possibly can uh, to win this race. I'm very proud to report we have received more campaign contributions and individual contributors than the other three candidates combined in this race. But I'm up against uh, three candidates that are all self-funding their campaign, lending their campaigns hundreds of thousands of dollars, and I'm doing it by building a base of supporters around the state of West Virginia. One other thing that I would mention is I have been a Republican County Chairman in Montegalia County. I was then elected state chairman. I served the state chairman's role for the Republican Party in West Virginia for five years as we contested every one of the 100 House of Delegates seats and the 17 state Senate seats. This was back when it was not cool to be a Republican. And we started growing the Republican Party, growing the number of office holders. And today, the Republican Party holds super majorities in both the House of Delegates and the State Senate, every statewide office holder 
is a Republican, except Joe Manchin, the U.S. Senator, and he's going to be retired in November. Okay. Okay. One other thing that I would mention is I currently serve as the Executive Director of the West Virginia Economic Development Authority, and then I also served in President Trump's administration, I was appointed by President Trump, as the State Director for Rural Development. So there's not been a major economic development project in West Virginia in the last seven years that I haven't had a role in. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.